Hi, there's something that I'd like to talk to you about. In 2020, I was diagnosed with multiple system atrophy, also known as MSA. You mean MS? Nope, that's multiple sclerosis. Multiple system atrophy is a much more rare brain disorder that affects most bodily functions. It's believed to affect less than five persons out of every 100,000 people. You may know someone who has multiple system atrophy, but doesn't know it yet because it can take years and visits with multiple specialists to get a diagnosis. Here I am doing ballet dancing, which I enjoyed immensely for 12 years until age 69 when MSA began to affect my neuromuscular system. Now check him out two years later after he developed motor symptoms of MSA. So what does MSA do to the body? It impairs the basic involuntary functions that we take for granted every day. Systems that regulate blood pressure, balance, heart rate, and the bladder. It also affects voluntary actions such as walking, speaking, and use of muscles. In the early stages, people with MSA may appear to be drunk due to slurred speech and a staggering walk. Patients with advanced MSA often become bedridden, unable to speak, and completely paralyzed. The life expectancy after diagnosis is between five and 10 years. However, therapies in the early stages, the patients and their families can have significant improvements in their lives. MSA symptoms generally first appear between the ages of 33 and 76 years of age. The cause is unknown, but there is no evidence that it's hereditary. MSA symptoms generally first appear between the ages of 33 and 76 years of age. At present, there are no definitive diagnostic tests. In MSA, sometimes we see something called polymini myoclonus. And no cure for MSA. The only way to 100% accurately diagnose it is with a brain autopsy after death. Why do we want you to know about MSA? We would like to bring this disease out of the dark so that more people can be diagnosed earlier to improve their quality of life and to encourage research into this devastating condition. If you would like to know more, log on to the following websites. Donations to these organizations are gratefully accepted and may help a loved one or a family that you know. Thanks for watching.